Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a simple workbench way better. A couple of years ago when I moved into the shop, one of the first projects I did and one of the first videos was making these work tables. I made several tables that would all snap together to make one large surface or they could break apart and roll around individually. I made these in two by four sizes and a big work table that was four by four. One of the problems with having a bunch of storage down here though is that I've got a bunch of tools that don't actually have anywhere to live and I have to pick them up, put them on a table to use them. So today we're gonna make some flip up panels that I can mount the tools to. They can flip up on top of the table to use them and then I can put them away when I'm done. If you need some simple work tables for your shop, these are a great solution. You should definitely go back to watch the video to see how I made them. We've also got some plans available for them, but they're really basic two by four construction. On this version, I actually added a flip top with some storage inside of that. I don't use it a whole lot. I use it on certain tables, but not on this one in particular. So I think for this particular video, I'm gonna go ahead and screw down the top so it can stay in place. Then I'm gonna be adding these panels and the hinges out here. Now, unfortunately, by adding stuff out here, that's gonna work against the whole magnet solution for attaching the tables together, but that's okay. This particular table will just stand alone. Since I screwed down the top, we don't really need this to be an open space. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out this one piece of MDF just so we have a little bit more clearance in this section for tools. The first tool we're gonna to try to mount is this pocket hole jig. This needs to lay across the table like this facing the what's gonna be the front. And so we need to lay it down inside the table like that so it can flip all the way over and lay into that position. So we're gonna make a plate of wood that's a little bit bigger than this one that will work on this side of it. The whole panel is gonna hang right here and the hinges need something to be screwed into, not just this MDF. So I've cut down a strip of two by four to fill this gap. We're gonna screw this into the structure of the table really strongly and then that will be our mounting point. So this panel is gonna hang right here and needs to hinge all the way over. And to do that, we're gonna take two regular hinges and put them together. I'm gonna to lay these on top of each other. The holes don't line up, but they do line up enough to be able to weld them together. Now, obviously, if you don't have a welder, you can still do this. You could put a bolt and a nut to connect these. You could use some pop rivets. There's a bunch of different ways you could connect these, but since I have a welder, I'm gonna weld them. Quick disclaimer, this is covered in zinc, and if you weld that, it lets go of some gases that you don't need to breathe. Make sure you have ventilation going or you do it outside. We've got this panel in place, and the big thing that makes this work is this hinge. This is gonna attach on the top here and fold down and then attach here to the table. This gives it two different ranges of motion. So the top panel can fold over this way and then the entire thing can fold down that way and roll flat. So I'm gonna put these in place, pre-drill the holes and screw them in. Also to put these hinges on, I'm using a self-centering bit. It has a little spring-loaded collar so it will center itself when you drill the hole. All right, let's try it out. Now once this has some weight on it, it will definitely fall down easier. And depending on where the weight is balanced on the bottom, it may end up sticking out like this, but we'll fix that later on. I'm gonna move this tool over to this new panel. And the only thing you have to keep in mind about placement is that you have to have enough room up here on this end to equal the overhang here. You don't want any tool sitting in this space that's gonna run into whatever's supporting on this end. I already measured this, this is a little over two inches, so I just have to make sure I go with two inches in. I should be good. Now when we're ready to use this tool, just flip it up, use it, and then when we're done, just flip it back over. So now we gotta do pretty much the same thing for all the other tools.
Now we're ready to mount this tool, and this is a leather sewing machine. There's no electric to this one, it's crank driven, so you have to be able to turn this crank and it makes the whole sewing machine work. This is also expected to have a stand. And so since it doesn't, in this case, I'm actually gonna have to build this off the surface a little bit, up high enough that I can turn this crank by hand and it'll hold the weight. I've got this piece setting on here and I didn't realize when I put these two by fours in that the two holes that I have to use for mounting are actually kind of close together on this plane. And it puts one of the holes close to the edge, one of the holes close to where the pieces meet. So I'm gonna have to slide this off axis a little bit or rotate it so that both holes are over actually meaty parts of the wood and aren't gonna split out. So I think I'm gonna end up having to turn this machine a little bit more than I wanted to originally, but just kind of part of it. This thing is really heavy, so let's try it out. Make sure it works. Sweet. It totally works. I knew that the balance would be kind of an issue on some of these heavier tools, but it's okay because I think we've got a way to easily lock it into position. We're gonna put a really small piece of wood on a single pivot point right here. So once we push the tool into place, we can rock this over and it'll lock it right there. I've got this little spinning piece in here and it totally works, but I also just realized that the grain is actually running this direction and with the weight pushing against one side, eventually I may get a crack right here. So if you make one of these, just maybe make the grain run this way. I've got a quarter 20 bolt that's gonna go up here with a lock nut on top of it to hold it in place, but I also have to countersink on the bottom so that the bolt head will be flush on this side. Now we've got the scroll saw in place. Works pretty well, and luckily this one actually holds the cord, so once I get it up here, I can plug it in. I've got one more space here for a tool. I've always wanted a vise in this side of the shop, but I kinda hate the fact that you have to put a vise on a table and it takes up that space whether you need it or not, so I'm gonna put a big vise on another panel that'll flip up and it'll go right here. We picked up a vise and I've got it placed on this board where I think it needs to go, and I wanted to explain about why I have it where I have it. When you're laying this out, you have to worry about this thickness right here. This entire panel is going to fold over, so this is unusable space. That translates to this space right here. Now this tool in particular needs a little bit extra consideration because this has to spin, so I've got it hanging off the side of the table, but then the entire thing can spin on this board. So when you have that in its longest orientation, you have to make sure that it doesn't conflict with the space that's eaten up here. So I think this is a good place to do it. We're going to bolt it down just like we did everything else. Okay, well, that's not gonna work. Ideally, you would wanna put washers underneath these nuts to preserve the wood around this, but these bolts that I have are just a little bit too short, so I may have to swap them out later so that I have enough space to add a washer.
got the vise mounted, it should be ready to go, but I did want to point one thing out before we test it. I've used some kind of small screws into this plywood. Now over time, those may not be enough to hold the weight of this, and we may have to replace those with a through bolt, but we'll just do it like we did everything else, countersink on the back side, and use a bolt and a nut. All right, I'm gonna tighten this thing down, and we'll try it out. All right, it's quick and dirty. It's not terribly pretty from the outside, but look at how much functionality this table has now. And then of course, on this side, we've still got all this open space. We could put a shop vac down here to get dust collection to some of these tools. You could just store other stuff down here. The main point of this project, even though it was really simple, was to show that you can take an existing table and totally customize it to make your shop better. There you go, it's an extremely simple project that honestly just boils down to modifying some hinges. Being able to have a work surface that can also have tools mounted on it and then those tools can hide away can be a huge help. And of course, if you wanna make these specific tables, we do have some really inexpensive plans for them on iliketomakestuff.com. If this video gave you any ideas for improving your workshop, I would love to hear about it. Let me know down in the comments. We've got tons of other types of projects that you also may want to check out. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I wanted to interrupt our normal blooper reel this week to show you our new end screen, but also, more importantly, to officially announce the Maker Alliance. The Maker Alliance is a group of people who get exclusive behind the scenes access to me and the whole team at I Like To Make Stuff. By joining the Maker Alliance, you get early access to videos and exclusive videos. You get product discounts. We have a Discord server. We do monthly video hangouts and a bunch of other stuff. We've already got a huge community of people over there, and we would love for you to join us. If you want to find out more, hit the link right there.